I think I'm about to blow your mind and blow up your Instagram because in today's video, you're going to learn how to scrape information from Instagram without any code. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a number of no-code automations. The first one is perfect for growth hacking. It's going to extract following and followers of an individual Instagram profile page. The second one will allow you to add one Instagram profile page directly to your favorite apps such as Notion, Airtable, and Google Sheets without any copy pasting. And Finally, I'm going to show you how you can build your own scraper template so that you do not need to ever copy paste information from one place to another and you can use it on any website. So it goes far beyond Instagram. To make all of this possible, we're going to be using a workflow automation tool called Bardeen.ai. It's a Chrome extension that you can download by following the link in the description below. All of the automations you're going to see in today's video are readily available, so that you can run them with just one click, just like this. Boom, bam, oh, bop, pow. And let's take a look at our first use case. It is extracting following and followers of an individual Instagram profile page. So right here in front of me, I have Kanye West Instagram profile page. I am Shakespeare in the flesh, ain't nobody never broke that. So imagine I want to follow all of the people that Kanye follows as well. I'm going to click on his following and here I have all of this information rendered. And from here I'm going to open Bardeen and find the automation. It's called Save Instagram Following and Followers to Google Sheets. I'm going to run it and it will ask me how many items I want to extract. For the sake of the experience, I want to get 100 people from his following list and I want to create a new spreadsheet. So here in this argument, you're asked which spreadsheet you want to add the information to. So you can pick an existing spreadsheet or you can create a new one. So here we have create new Google Sheet and give it a name. I'm going to call it Yay IG. I'm going to run this automation and here's what's happening here. Bardeen is scrolling down to load more results and we're going to see in a second the resulting spreadsheet. Boom, and just like this, here we have the spreadsheet. We can download it as a CSV or we can view it. So let's click on view and have all of the results over here. And here, if you want to actually see the images, the profile images from those profiles, a little hack, you can write an image formula and point it to an image link and if you drag it down, you will see the profile page images right here. You can use this spreadsheet in a combination with other tools to automatically follow all of these people. Now let's take a look at the second automation that is perfect for anybody who's doing influencer marketing. So if you use Instagram to identify interesting people that you want to reach out to, this automation is going to be perfect for you. And here's exactly what I mean. So right here in front of me, I have Kim's profile page. My name is Kim Kardashian. I'm the dopest on the ropest. And say I want to collaborate with her and I want to build an influencer list so that I can reach out to them after. I'm going to open Bardeen from here and find a different automation. It's called Save Instagram Profile to Google Sheets. I'm going to click on it and here I can pick an existing spreadsheet. So let's create a new spreadsheet. I'm going to call it IG Marketing run this playbook and it's going to extract all of this additional information, including the followers, the following, the link, the picture, and all of that good stuff directly to a new Google spreadsheet. Let's click on view and here's all the information. So if we want to go to the next profile page and see if we want to collaborate with one of the brands that Kim runs, we can add this profile to the same spreadsheet. But instead of specifying that spreadsheet every time, you can customize your automation. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So let's open Bardeen and let's find this automation. You can open it in Builder and the Builder is where your automation is actually built so you can customize it from here. So here we have two actions. We have the scraper action that extracts the information and we have the add table rows to a spreadsheet action. So it gets the information and adds it to the spreadsheet. So right here, we have an argument that is an ask me every time argument. So every time you run this automation, it's going to ask you for a spreadsheet. Instead of that one, we want to specify the spreadsheet that we've just created earlier, IG marketing. So let's put in the name, pick it and map the data from the first action onto this action. Click on done, hit save 
close the builder and right now it's a one click automation where just like this with one click the information is going to be added directly to this spreadsheet another one you can go to the next profile option b shortcut save ig to google sheets and the information is in the spreadsheet so far, I have shown you how to extract somebody's following or followers and how to get information copied from an individual Instagram profile page. Now, I want to show you how this automation was built and how you can build your own for pretty much any website on the internet. In order for us to do this, we're going to open Bardeen and create a new playbook. That's what we call our automations. Let's click on that and on the left hand side panel you see a bunch of different apps and actions we're interested in this scrape action so scraper extracts information from predefined areas on the website you need to build a scraper template for an individual website that informs Bardeen where the elements that you're interested in are located. So here we have different options. We have the scrape data on active tab. That's the currently open tab, or you can also scrape information in the background. So you can just feed the scraper a link and it's going to go ahead, open the page in the background and extract the information you need. So for our use case, we're going to pick the first action on active tab and we're going to create a new scraper template and let's pick this Instagram profile page. So here we have the two types of scraper templates. We have the single page scraper and a list scraper. So because the elements on the Instagram page are going to show up only once, we're going to pick the single page scraper. Whereas in the case of scraping Instagram following, you have the same elements such as name show up on the list multiple times. So single page scraper, let's give it a name. Let's call it IG demo. And that's the name of our scraper template. Then you can click on individual fields that you're interested in, in extracting. We're going to get the handle. Let's get the description. Let's get the name. We can get the followers. Let's get the following. And here we can extract different types of data. For example, we can grab the link. If you have a hyperlink, meaning that you have text and behind the text, there is a link pointing to a page, you can extract the information behind that text. In order to do this, you need to pick a link over here and give it a name, a link. You can also extract images. It's another type of data you can get access to. Let's click here, get the image and call it image, just like this. And as you can see here, the image wasn't captured. You might want to play around a little bit to make sure that you're selecting the right element. I'm going to delete that image and I'm going to try to extract it one more time, but point to a different element. Image, let's call it image one more time. And now we have the URL to that image. Finally, we want to grab the current page URL right here, but it doesn't show anywhere in the body of the page. For that, we're going to click on get more fields and pick page link and call it page link. Let's change this variable and call it website link so that it's easier to remember. And let's save this template. And this is our first action. It extracted information from the page. Now we need to add this information to an app. We can choose from a list of different apps that Bardeen has access to. So we have Google Sheets, Notion, and many other tools. For our demo, let's pick Google Sheets and let's pick the add table rows to Google Sheet. Pick the sheet, so IG marketing. Now you need to point the data coming from the previous action onto this action. So what's the input? That's going to be the input of this action. So it's going to get the table from the scraper and add it to the spreadsheet. Let's click on done, click on save and give this automation name. Let's call it demo IG to sheets, save. And then you can close the builder and run this automation with a click. And here the information was added to this spreadsheet. As you can see, there were a few columns that were created automatically because they didn't exist here before. 
finally, let's play around with this automation a little bit and make it a right click scraper action. So what I mean is the following. We're going to open this automation and we're going to add a trigger. We're going to look for right click on the website. So whenever you right click on the website, you will have different options like you see over here. And let's call it IG to sheets. That's the name of our menu bar and it's going to be visible everywhere. Click on done, save the playbook, close the builder. Very important, you need to enable this auto book. And from here, when you right click on the website, a new option is going to show up. IG to sheets, Let's click on that. And the information was added to the spreadsheet automatically. In today's video, we've covered how to extract information from Instagram. It's very important to know that there is certain type of information that you cannot get when you're on the desktop. Specifically, you cannot get emails and addresses. For that, you might want to look for other tools. You can try out all of the automations that you've seen in this video by going to the description below. Now it's your turn to blow up your Instagram. Go to the description below to try out the automations. They are pre-built and you can start using them with just a few clicks. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to learn about more ways you can save time with automations and I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.